we are now going to look at how you would actually edit a page once it's published. So here we have our Cree B MVP line ribs page. And as you can see, I've got two items on it. So the first thing I would do is I would click edit. And that will actually take me through to the dashboard side of the page. So the first thing I would do is I need to go to the position where I want to add the items in. So as you can see, this is my last line of text. I put my cursor next to that and then press enter. So I'm going to paste again from Word. So I've actually copied some text from Word. I'm going to paste that in and I'm going to go to insert. So that's our actual text there. I need to add in the heading for this item. So this is a Karibi MVP line 11. And I should have a capital L there. So just alter that. And I need to make this my heading. So I'm going to go to paragraph and then choose heading two. And I also want my text to be bold. So I highlight it all and click B. Now, as we did earlier, um, we decided that the spacing needed to be improved so that you could have a large image there. So what we'll do is we'll set up the actual text now. So um, to actually do the spacing, I'm basically going to hold my shift key down and press enter, click at the end of the piece of text and shift and enter end of text again, shift and enter, and so on. So I'll just finish that off. And that's all my spacing done. So I'm now going to actually put my image in and I'm going to click by my heading, go to add media, search for the items. So this is an MVP 11. So hopefully it will come up. Yes, brilliant. So click on that. And right, I need to remove this caption out of here. So captioning really should only be a small amount of information. It shouldn't actually have full details in it. So get rid of that. And I actually want to add in my information again. Karibi line MPV11. So I've done that copy that and then paste it into the description and just to remind you copy and paste is holding the control key down for um, any of the items so to copy something we press control hold it down and then press the c key to actually paste into an item you hold the control key down and then press v for victor and we've got our image alignment on the left. One nice thing about WordPress is that it does remember your previous alignments when you've actually added in an image and also the previous size that you've used as well. So we're now going to click insert into page and I've got that sitting there. So all I now need to do is just click update and that will actually update the page. And if I go to view page, let's double check. And there we go. So that is updating our page. Now we have a little bit of an issue here. So what I want to do is if this happens to you, how do you deal with it? Right. Basically, we would go to edit. And we know where the actual issue is. So it's between the last piece of text and the next item. So we go down to that. And so we know that our item was actually linking onto this image here. So I click on C and you've got the cursor sitting there next to it. And I'm actually going to press the Enter key. So it actually gives me an additional piece of space. And I'm going to click Update. 
and once it's updated we're just going to check to see if this has actually made the improvement so we go to view page and we have a look at our updated item and just see how that's gone right that's perfect so that has actually cured that issue with it so um, it's just a matter of if you do get these sort of small anomalies it's a matter of actually having a look at it again and actually making any alterations now one thing that you've noticed probably is that the headings for each item don't match so to do that all we have to do is go back into edit again and I'm going to add Karibi to the first two items headers here so all I have to do to do that so that it's all the same is just put the cursor next to the beginning of your header there, add in the word, make sure the spacing's okay. And the same thing again with the next one. And then as soon as you've done that, you just click update. We're going to check our page to make sure it's correct. So we're going to through to view the page. And what we have now is our correctly laid out page with the headings correct as well. And you can carry on doing this. So, so however many items you need to add, um, you just carry it out in the same manner.